Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In this one we're going to be showing off a new house that you can get. A brand new restructuring of Castle and also a brand new restructuring of Spectacle Island. So to start off we're going to take a look at this. Which is the new house. Which is now an oil rig. Out in the middle of the ocean. So if we go have a look. So if we start off, as you can see, there's a house for dog meat. So if you want to take him along, this is where he can stay. Not much else on this floor. If we go up again, there's a landing pad, which I assume is only for if you want to call in a vertebrate. Besides that, I don't really see what other use it could be. Unless you have some other mod that may have vehicles that you can fly from, but besides that, vertebrate kind of seems to be all the use it is. If we go up to the next floor, we now have an actual room where we have a pet scorpion inside who slightly moves. Not much else I've seen him do besides that. Have a desk, which for some reason is stealing, even though it's your own stuff. Some posters, radio, fancy bed. Over here we have a safe, which is some ammo, some guns, that kind of thing, some drink and a chair. Up to the next floor. Which does take a little bit. As you can see nothing really on the roof either. No up here is where it gets a little more interesting. Because no, there is a workshop up here. And if you're thinking of yes, you can actually craft up here so if you feel like adding some more stuff yourself. Maybe you want to expand building a floor, that kind of thing. You can add away. I haven't really tried it myself, so if you can find a point, maybe you can. But in here we have cabinets, chemistry set, weapons, power armor, a desk with some ammo. This is just part of the structure, not no use there. We have a stove if you feel it cooking. We have a fancy little fridge full of purified water, ice cold Nuka Cola. Didn't know what's on the fridge, in case you forget what you're buying. Right now I need to get some more sugar bombs and Nuka Cola. And that's pretty for this room. For some reason there isn't any armor stand on this rig. Up here we have little plant life growing on top of these containers. So mud fruit, potato, and some more mud fruit potato there. And a little chair to look out. But besides that, there's not much else to it, but I still thought it was a pretty cool little place. And if you check the map, it is up pretty fair. It's way out here. Kind of off the map, so you can't really travel to it normally. So I'll show you now how you get to it. So the way you get to the oil rig is if you come here to Castle and just travel a little bit south from its main entrance, you'll see this little watchtower. And just to the left of this watchtower is a half sunken boat. Once you come over this half sunken boat, you have to find this. And if you go down right to the end of this little lifeboat, you'll see Open the Commonwealth, which is how you travel to the oil rig. I don't know why it says that, but that's how you get there. So I'll show you. And as you can see, it travels us back down to the bottom of the oil rig. And just to get back, you can do the same thing here, or you can fast travel out of here. It makes no difference once you discover it. So, whichever way you prefer. So now I'll go show you Spectacle Island. Okay, now moving on to Spectacle Island. Now instead of swimming there like you normally would, with this mo with this new mod for it, it now has a bridge, which is really handy. Which is once again just out of the castle gate, right before you get to the outpost, where you go to the oil rig. And they seem to have added a lot of vehicles, like destroyed vehicles, things like that, to make the bridge more realistic, some destruction to it. There's also a shack in the middle, which exploring earlier I found raiders, so just be careful for that too. And about halfway up the bridge, as you can see, there's mounted miniguns with a thousand bullets. Some more raiders that I had to kill. And there's also another mounted gun here. So if you feel like taking them, go ahead. So coming up to the stairs to the bridge, as you can see, there's still a little bit of broken textures. 
Plus nothing I found that's game breaking so far. Alright, that should fall through. But they have no retextured, so there's actually paved roads. There's grass. They haven't done much to the building here. Or the two buildings here. But long hair. Still some more bugs, bugs to work out when it comes to the rocks and things like that. But a nice paved road here in the middle, so far. Some more bugginess here. So, as you can see, not all of it has been worked out so far, but it's a good start. Not much more difference over here, it's mostly near the start. Oh, that's more relatively the same. Not much difference around this part either. As you can see, so not much difference around here either. Just mostly the starting part of the island is what they've changed so far. But I'm guessing there will be updates in the future to retexture the entire island. More bugs here. So mainly buggy kind of around this area with all the rocks and such. Houses aren't too bad. They kind of glitch in and out every now and then. But for a starting wad, I think it's quite good. Hopefully they'll update in the future and kind of fix things like this. So you can actually have the mod on and explore the island properly. But to then, that's kind of the problems you're going to be facing. Textures constantly glitching out. Sometimes the house disappears, but... Besides those rocks just there, there's not much that's wrong with it. So with that, let's move on to Castle. Okay, and lastly we have Castle, which is probably my favourite on the list because I've also combined another mod with the visual mod itself to give it a little bit more of a better feeling. So if we win, I haven't taken over yet, but all this mired up patches will be gone, so it will be a lot cleaner looking. But as you can see, the walls are rebuilt in this on both sides. And if we go over to the broken part, it says travel to the Commonwealth, but it just teleports it to the other side of the door. There's nothing really special about it. And if you come into the middle here, this sign was hanging here, you'll see it if you come in, but it fell down for me. And it's just the mod creator thanking you for downloading the mod, and he also leaves his YouTube channel if you want to visit that and see more mods that he makes himself. So, that's handy. Um, as you look around, it's all green grass, um, tree in the middle, has leaves on it. You've obviously seen all the trees around it, which is green all over. Um, the top of it still has all this kind of mossy t stuff, unless you go to the fixed part of the wall where it's just a wooden board. Down there you can see the island stretches out a lot more, as that's supposed to be in the water, but no it isn't, it's far from it. Outside, it's all green textures, or green grass. It stretches out a good bit, it's a little bit kind of glitchy over there kind of water on the land and there is also now a bridge leading from the castle itself to the mainland so not too much difference around there besides the fact that it's all green grass around now so not too much difference besides the fact that it's all green grass around there now uh, the inside doesn't have any changes to it it's still the same textures that it always was but I've also added a second mod which I will now show you. So, if you come into the general's quarters and you do the usual thing, you clear out this rubble here. And we'll enter the castle tunnels. So as you can see, this is completely redone as well. It's all clean now, proper working lights, all that kind of stuff. And every room now has its own little thing in it. So little generators, nice Minutemen poster, we love the general uh, mini nukes. Let's go through it quickly because it's more or less just kind of nice interior. There's Serge. Not much difference up there. But if we go up here, you can now see through here the metal mesh. So you can see the exit. All clean inside here. As you can see, everywhere is just kind of more or less cleaned up. 
So armor stands, weapon stands. But if you go back to the start here, which dog meat just opened is the door on the right here, which is now a fully stocked armory that they now have. Which is set up really nicely. Although you can't grab any of this stuff here. It's kind of just more decorative. But you can take the ammo out of this stuff a bag. Um, you can take the cannonballs. All this stuff is empty beside well the clothing and armor is empty, but there, there's ammo here, as you can see it's labeled on the boxes which is which. Explosives is empty. Cannot collect these. Grenades, mines, cement, cages, boxes, and this wall here is also decorative. You can't take anything from it. But still, pretty cool. It's better than what is in here, which is just nothing. I think radiation barrels, that's about it. So, and I should also mention. And I should also mention, if you're trying to leave from this area, make sure you go through this door here after you clear out the castle properly. Because, and I'll show you now if you go back through the other door. As you can see, if you go back through the other door, it spawns you down at the bottom, but the mod now has the door at the top. So you kind of get stuck down here with the new textures. And even if you make it to the top of the door, which I have before, it teleports you back inside here. So, if you come back with this way, the only way to get out is you're going to have to fast travel. So I would recommend using the other door, which wasn't open for me because I haven't completed the mission, but that's your best way out if you want to come down here. So, that about does it for these round of mods. If you liked any of them, make sure to leave a like. If you'd like to see more mods, or just more videos in general, you can always subscribe. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.